Our last race before the lunch break about to get underway and it is D2 for their first of two races today. So after time qualifying, the driver that will start from pole position will be the number 433, the Flavio Pagenbach. Alongside will be the number 431 and 42 competitions, Nikas Keynes. It's Bonnie Gunder in the 499 and Martin Schein, that's in the 413, manning out the top two points. On the right of the the 422, Lights ignited on the start of the entry for the final time before our lunch break. And after that, we will have a further seven races to bring us up to the conclusion. A total of 31 races here at Bakatoa for the conclusion of the second round of the 2020 World Sax Max Challenge for Germany season. Being held here at the Cup Race Fenster in Bakatoa. Race director now keeping a keen eye on how the drivers make the start this time around. Through the final corner come the drivers. They start to split. The reds start to build. We get into the tram lines while the final time for the final break. Lights are out. We got the race today. And it's a great start by number 431 of Nick Metz Shoots is waiting to the lead. Up ahead of everybody else, and Marcel Steiner in the 413 from Morris Competition makes it up into second place as they negotiate turn four for the first time. As it's nearly three rest coming out of turn number four. Between 13, 14, and 15, it's up the inside of the number 468. Uh, Water tries to go, I think that might have been possibly Benny Chapel, I think. It's now the way through the chicane for the first time. Uh, it's the best of that and now completes the top five. Just behind them is the fourth point of two with the Then we have the box and the team up by the tail which is in the mix there too. And then we have the last one and then we have the last one and then we have the last one and completed the top ten and the triple four from these racing. It's instead of the half from the 411 gap in the gap box to go up the inside of the number 422 of the bottom of the line. Now, Marcel Stanley trying to get the momentum. And look to see if he can get past the best finish to the lead as he goes through the side of the three. And that, that number three of the race is the leaders. And also now, pretty much the majority of the field make that the top 12. And have now got through turn four. Now the complete field has got through. And we rounded out by Francisco Lerma. The Mac one chassis on the 425. The gap between Marcel Steinert and Florian Heidmark last time around was around 1.1 seconds. Steiner has come into a massive drama, and that is really, really close. He's now pulled to the right hand side. Marcel Steinert out with a technical issue on lap number two. That has given a massive amount of daylight for Niklas Keynes to continue in the lead. As now, Weinberg leads the rest of the field. Ahead of Ronnie Guthrie, Max Fleischmann, Dennis Thiem rounds out the top five. Followed by Oliver Weinberg, who's now managed to get back past Yannick Jakobs. 
Mark Bartels and Janusz Stierfax ring into that panel too. As all, that's a bit of a run wide there from Brian Wagner. They nearly go for the door for Ronnie Gutter. As up the inside goes Dennis Thiem on Max Fleischmann. Oh, Fleischmann keeps it pinned to the outside as they go through turn nine. Thiem makes it through by a whisker. As Mark Bartels gets past the 4.11 of Yannick Jakobs. Uh, try to nearly swap positions again, but that allows Janusz Deer to close up. Deer completes the top eight as we go into another lap. Oni Gertler past Florian Weidenbach for second position. Now the hunt to try and chase down the 431 from 42 competition begins. The gap was an absolutely gargantuan 2.122 seconds behind Krenz and Gertler. Krenz now having set the last half of the race on lap number three. Still very much a stalemate. The drivers that are making their way through turn number 10. That is being rounded out by Jonas Volscheid, who's being passed by Hannes Porter for 10th position. Nine minutes and 50 seconds plus an additional lap. Ben's crossing the line to complete lap number five ahead of everybody. But the gap is now starting to come down. Roddy Gertler has put in the fastest lap of the race for himself, but the fastest lap of the race now is by the driver in fourth position, Max Fleischmann, on a 49, 754 second lap time. He closes the gap to Florian Wagner for just over three tenths of a second. So Dennis Steen rounds out the top five. Ahead of Oliver Wagner, Mark Bartels, Yannick Jakob, Lana Schier, the top closes up onto the back bumper of Yannick Jakobs going into the braking zone on turn number 12. Reigns is being closed in on lap by lap, but not by as much as some people might think. The gap now is 1.8 seconds between him and Tony Gidler. As Blake from again, again, for the second lap in succession, sets the fastest lap out of anybody, a 49.662. Second lap time by the number 407 from FM Racing. Well, he is in turn closing on Florian Breidenbach, probably closer than Breidenbach would want. He's bringing along Dennis Dean in the 404. Also, the move up the inside of Max Fleischmann through turn 12 at the 407. Got the hammer down early and powered out of the corner. Nice and clean. The gap now has been dropped by Honey Gutler, who now this time around sets the fastest lap of the race at 49. Points 576. And that is when you look at the qualifying times from this morning. Honey Gutler is effectively 0.373 seconds after his fastest lap in qualifying, which is a 49.203. One race yesterday, I saw, I noticed the fact that he was getting quicker and quicker as the race progresses. And that's one of the trademarks of Honey Gutler. He will look behind him and see where Florian Reichenbach is and then say, right, I might be able to get between myself and the guy. So, now we'll start pushing. Again, he drops it by four one thousandths of a second on that last lap. 49.572, that makes him the fastest out of the top six. Second in that is uh, Max Fleischmann in fourth. Third in that is uh, Lorraine Weidenbach, who rounds out the top three. Marcel Steiner, has, uh, that's a real shame for him. Another technical drama for the 413 of Zara's competition. Now exiting the race stage right on lap number two. Class Green's lead is dwindling as the time ticks away and we count up the laps. Six minutes and four, 38 seconds, plus one lap to go. Class Green's is trying to keep things consistent in terms of his lap pace. He's running anywhere at the moment over the last three laps. I think we'll get the hand in average for a 48 and a 49.8 second lap time. 
Honey Gertler does exactly 49.5 seconds on that last lap and closes the gap to just under a second in the battle for what will be the lead. Francisca Verm has now got past Tim Stender in the battle for what is 13th place on the road as they are quite a distance behind another, uh, another 403. Denny Shadow, that 4.8 seconds adrift, but they are still having their own uh, battle out on the track. So the gap really coming down now. I think Bonnie Gertner, let's see how much time he's taken out of that uh, because Keynes. He's done another fastest lap for the last three in a row as we head on to lap number 11. He's got the gap down to 0.676 seconds. 49.449 second lap time from Gertler. He's closing fast and Keynes knows it. He senses it. And as we get into the last five and a quarter minutes. It's a real good run out of turn 10 and could have gone to the move up this time of Brian Reidler through turn 11. Does the opportunity present itself in turn 12 for both him and number 404 for the same team? No, it doesn't. But Fleischmann dives up the inside through turn 13. Brian Reidler up and steals third like Gary off of Bacon. But now Reinbach now has the advantage going towards the turn three and four. Reinbach looks towards the inside of turn four, makes, tries to make the move up the inside, gets a bit caught out there. Dennis Singh trying to go round side by side through into turn five. This is allowing Oliver Reinbach to go past and does so. So it's Brian uh, Reinbach in fourth, Oliver Reinbach now in fifth. Dennis Singh now drops to sixth and has been closed in on by Mark Bartels in the 488. Yannick Yakov, Yannick Stier, and Hannes Border complete the top ten. We see looking to close up on the driver in front, and it looks like he's trying to get past uh, on the road track. He's got the top down, 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 Oli Gertler has got the gap to under two tenths of a second between him, Self and Niklas Kens. They now negotiate turn number six. Gertler getting really close on the braking zones. Kens now just needs to put the blinkers on and look forward. And then wait until Oli Gertler decides to try for the lead. Come through turn 11. Gertler's done the hard work, and now the real hard work begins because he's now going to try and uh, get his way past the earliest opportunity possible on the best way. Coming on the final corner, coming the two leaders. Line is turned under the gantry, they go. Gertler's got a real good turn of pace through turn three. We go for it through turn four, he's got just over three minutes to go. Not yet. So come through five, into the left hairpin at six. Leishman still leaves the rest of the cast behind in third place. Gertler loses a little bit of momentum going through turn eight, but then draws it back through the apex of nine. On the racing line, turns your apex taken by the pair of them through turn 12, over the crest. They go. The two leaders. Line is turned once again to complete lap number 14. Gertler once again in the sixth ring of the best pairs. The top 12 have yet to change, but that depends on how quickly Pony Gertler pushes the envelope of adhesion. Two minutes and five still to go plus one lap, which takes us into the, lap, the lunch break. Through the chicane, it turns nine and ten. Through the left hander, same amount of curves being taken by the two at the front of the field. Dennis Steam, in the meantime, has set the fastest lap of anybody. Then 49.394 seconds that time. He continues to round out the top five, but he's trying to close up once again on flying right in the middle of the fourth position. Right line taken by Niklas Kreis coming out of the final corner to keep himself ahead of Ronnie Gertler. And that worked on that particular occasion. And run through turn three into four. 
once again to get back to the the brakes because he's got James as a marker to help sort of calculate on the fly how much brake pressure you're going to need in order to facilitate that move that could put you in the front of the field. So, 65 seconds plus one match still to go. They're running and then the 49 sixes at the front of the field. Looks like the next time around, the two leaders, who are largely stand coming out of turn number 12, over the crest. Through the double wise of 13 and 14, Ben's still ahead of the moment. He has led the race all the way through so far. 42 seconds on the clock as they cross the finish line. Yes, and one more lap to go. Gettler, not yet, going for it. Ben's just doing what he needs to do at the front of the field, keeping ahead of Gettler. Gertler was not that much faster than Andy Pesquez. The dramas yesterday. They've actually done a full rebuild on that car. A new chassis was required after yesterday's uh, festivities. The timer now counts down. Five seconds on the clock as they go through turn 12. We will now go on to the final lap before the lunch break. Niklas Krems has led so far from lights out. He's got just over 1,200 metres to negotiate as they hurtle their way under the gantry. Fleischmann still in third. Theme in fourth. Brian Reifenbach in fifth. With Mark Bartels, Oliver Weidenbach, Yannick Gaffels, Yannick Stier. And Hannes Border running at the top ten. As Jonas Wallerscheid trying to close in on the 468 in the dying throws of the race. The two leaders now come through turn eight. Into the right at nine for the final time. Through into the left at ten. Then has got four more corners to go to the face of the final time. Through into twelve. Now this could be a run to the line. The way things are going. Get that is half a car length behind. Going to turn thirteen. Through the final corner we come. It's going to be a drag race, but Ben sweeps in front and takes the victory by 0.148 seconds, ahead of Ronnie Gutmann, Max Fleischmann rounds out the top three, ahead of Dennis Dean by just six tenths of a second. Florian Breitenbach rounds out the top five places ahead of Mark Bartels. Oliver Breitenbach rounds out the top seven ahead of Yannick Jakobs. Jana Stier and Hannes Border rounds out the top ten places. Joris Volscheid finishes in 11th. Denis Shallow rounds out the top 12 ahead of Francisca Blum. As uh, he waits for Tim Schnender to cross the line, I think he's ended up a lap off the leaders. And he crosses the line, completes the 18th and final lap of the race. With Marcel Steiner to an unfortunate retirement after technical dramas saw the 4.13 retire on lap number two.